Good evening, you too. All right. We are here with the Dr. King. First, I want to say thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel. All right. Um, I want to say, as I said in my video for the uh, second part of Joseph's story, I said you all uh, watch that video. Uh, hit the like button. Um, if you are a subscriber or if you haven't subscribed but you are here or whatever uh, means and you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. You may, well, I will say hit the notification bell, but I strongly suggest that if you want to keep up with my content, periodically check my um, channel to see if I've posted anything. I do not believe but I could be wrong, so y'all let me, somebody let me know if I'm wrong if you're a subscriber. Uh, I'm not quite sure that you all get notifications, all right? Um, sometimes, uh, once again, as I stated in my last Dr. King video, and I'll say it in this one, uh, I will see that I will post something, a very, very small channel, 51 subscribers, uh, but it will show two views on a video, especially for my Dr. King. Then it will go down to zero views. And when I mentioned it in the last video, then it went back up to two views. <laughs> okay, the last, uh, the very first Joseph story I uh, posted, it was one view, then it went up to two views, then it went back to one view, and it odd, it's very odd because in the uh, YouTube uh, app studio, uh, on one page it will say uh, one view, and then on the content page it'll say two views, alright, so I'm not quite sure what that's all about, alright, I don't know if it's just a glitch, it might be. Okay, it may not be, but it, it fluctuates for whatever reason. And because I have a very small channel, okay, it's easy to notice those kinds of things, all right? Whereas if it's a large channel with a lot of views, you may not catch it, all right? So I am suggesting that if you are interested, just go to my channel and periodically check to see if I've posted a video and something that you uh, are enjoying, all right? But we are going to get here into the Tao Te King. We are on chapter 46. When the world follows the Tao, horses run free to fertilize the fields. When the world does not follow the Tao, horse, war horses are bred outside the cities. There is no greater transgression than condoning people's selfish desires, no greater disaster than being discontent, and no greater at retribution than for greed. Whoever knows contentment will be at peace forever. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I really, really like that. Isn't that beautiful? Remember the Tao. The Tao is the thing from which all things originate, okay, in Taoism, all right? Everything. You, I, and nature, everything originates from the Tao, okay? And what do they teach in Taoism, okay? The natural way, the Tao the rhythm, the way, the way things work, the way nature works, the way things move naturally, okay? So, of course, when the world follows the Tao, then horses run free. And what do they do? They fertilize the fields, okay? And the fields need to be fertilized to bring forth food, <laughs> all right? When the world does not follow the Tao, okay, when the world does not follow the natural way, the way that is natural for them, what happens? War, war horses are bred outside the cities. Right? There is no greater transgression than condoning people's selfish desires. Now, remember when we talk about that Eastern philosophy, when you go back and look at uh, some of the Eastern religions and philosophies that I went over for the religious study series, we see that to lessen one's desire that we see in Buddhism, all right, then it lessens suffering, okay, may, may not be able to eliminate it altogether, but definitely lessen it and how to rid oneself of desires, and we see that in the Eastern philosophies, okay, get rid of these desires, these selfish desires, because they can, you, you know, you can never be satisfied, all right, However, no greater disaster than being discontent, and that is so true. How many of us feel discontent, just don't have enough, which can bring on a state of sadness, the blues, depression, okay, and undoubtedly mental health issues as well as physical health issues. But this is the world that we live in, one that condones our selfish desires and no greater retribution than for greed. Whoever knows contentment will be at peace forever. Right. Isn't there a scripture, um, I've learned to be content 
okay, with in so many words, with what I have. I'll see if I can find it in a minute. Without opening, chapter 47, without opening your door, you can know the whole world. Mm, mm, mm. Without looking out of your window, you can understand the way of the Tao. The more knowledge you seek, the less you will understand. The master understands without leaving, sees clearly without looking, accomplishes much without doing anything. Without opening your door, you can know the whole world. Without even going outside of the same, you can know the whole world. How? Knowing yourself, because you are a part of the Tao too, the natural way, the rhythm, all right? The way nature works, and you are nature. We are nature, even as human beings. Without looking out of your window, you can understand the way of the Tao. Same concept as what I just said. The more knowledge you seek, the less you will understand. In Taoism, remember, in Taoism, what is it? What do they say? You know, stop put an end to your troubles <laughs> right. stop seeking knowledge why because the more you know the more you realize you don't know and there is a scripture forever searching for the knowledge of the truth okay but never coming into it let me find that real quick all right all right y'all bear with me here There it is. I'm waiting for it to come up here. Going slow. There it is. Second Timothy three seven. Always learning, but never able to come to a knowledge of the truth. Okay. Always learning. Ever learning. Yes ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth okay so that's that that's that the more knowledge you seek the less you will understand it's the same concept you you know so they say put an end to your troubles <laughs> all right in Taoism all right and let me find that other verse okay Finding, finding some of the same uh, concepts or ideas, ideologies, thoughts across these various religions. Philippians uh, 4.11 Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatever state I am therewith, therewith to be content. Okay? Right, so that goes with the, the other um, chapter here. Whoever knows contentment will be at peace forever. All right, All right. let's move on. Chapter 48. One who seeks knowledge learns something new every day. One who seeks the Tao unlearns something new every day. Less and less remains until you arrive at non-action. Okay, remember that in Taoism. If you don't, I think I got just two parts up go back and look at my um, videos on Taoism. When you arrive at non-action, nothing will be left undone. Mastery of the world is achieved by letting things take their natural course. You cannot master the world by changing the natural way, all right? One who seeks knowledge, you learn something new every day, but one who seeks the Tao, the natural way, nature, how things work, how things move, the rhythm, just the natural way, letting it flow, okay? Um, like water here, okay? Um, unlearns something new every day. So many times, you know, we see on these spiritual journeys, whatever that spiritual journey may be, or however, whatever has gotten you on that particular spiritual journey, or on a particular on a uh, spiritual journey, whatever you know uh, that 
again, whatever it may be, okay, we often find, and even just in life, I feel like as we are growing, okay, sometimes we have to, like, we may say unpack things, okay, or unlearn things that we have been conditioned to or that we have been pro programmed to believe, okay, uh, is you know, believe that it's real, okay, or that this is the way it should be, okay, so, you know, in order to be in that place of contentment or at peace, we may have, we have to unlearn some things, less and less remains until you arrive at non-action, remember, non-action, the natural way, okay, just let it flow, just let it be as it is, let nature be as it is, when you arrive at non-action, nothing will be left undone, non there's nothing left to do, <laughs> except allow it to just be as it is, okay, mastery of the world is achieved by letting things take their natural course, allow things to take, oh, that's a and that's a hard one when you when you live in a culture and a society that pushes this whole thing of non-action it just sounds like lazy you know sometimes we work uh five days a week many of us some of us more and find that just that one day a week is hard or we have a day off or we have a vacation or we have whatever it may be but we don't have to work we don't have to do anything but we feel like we have to be in constant motion have to be doing something or i don't feel right or i feel like i'm doing something wrong okay and uh, can be kind of tormented like almost in like, the center of your chest or in your mind thinking I gotta be, I gotta be, I gotta do, I gotta do alright, mastery of the world is achieved by letting, t by letting things take their natural course alright, you cannot master the world by changing the natural way, okay it is what it is, nature is as it is you cannot change it let it be as it is, alright you end up, you really end up fighting against it, okay you're not changing it. It is going to be what it's going to be. You end up fighting it, okay, in a constant state of war, okay? War with it, war with oneself. Chapter 49, the master has no mind of her own. She understands the mind of the people. Those who are good, she treats as good. Those who aren't good, she treats as, she also treats as good. This is how she attained true goodness. She trusts people who are trustworthy. She also trusts people who aren't trustworthy. This is how she gains true trust. The master's mind is shut off from the world. Only for the sake of the people does she muddle her mind. They look to her in anticipation, yet she treats them all as her children. The master has no mind of her own. She understands the mind of the people. She is selfless. She is a uh, and not selfish. It's not just about her and what she wants, okay? It is about the people. We see this in in this chapter here over and over again. Those who are good, she treats as good, but those who aren't good, she also treats as good because there is something good in everyone. This is how she attains true goodness. She chooses to see the good in them and treats them accordingly. She trusts people who are trustworthy. She also trusts people who are not trustworthy, okay? Those, this is how she gains true trust, all right? The master's mind is shut off from the world, all right? She does not allow herself to be um, influenced by the ideas and the ideologies and philosophies of the world, okay? Only for the sake of the people does she muddle her mind. They look to her in anticipation, yet she treats them all as her children, all right? All right, the Tao the King, all right? Once again, we'll be back with the Tao Te Ching. We're almost finished by Lao Tzu. Once again, I'd like to say thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel. Hit the like button, please. Share, subscribe. All right, check out my website, kenyattisintuition.com. Um, you find tarot readings, psychic readings, pendulum readings. I have a couple pendulums posted. I will have more posted. Um, you all be blessed. Peace.